Hello, hello, hello. It is time to talk about my plans for 2022. It is time to show which full coverage projects I'm going to work on and which smaller projects I'm going to work on for the WIPCO of 2022. So don't stop watching. Oh my God, it is amazing. It's unbelievable that 2021 is almost to its end already. It's going to be so nice to say hello and goodbye 2021. It hasn't been horrific. 2020 was horrific. This year has been better, but we're still struggling, you know. Last week, two weeks ago, we at the hospital in Sweden, in my parts of Sweden, are back to wearing masks, locked doors, guards and hoses at the entrances. Yeah, a lot of new restrictions and it just sucks, you know. I, I don't have another word for it. I canceled Christmas. I was supposed to have Christmas for my and my husband's families, but I canceled. I don't have the guts to, um, you know, invite everyone to the same place uh, as it looks right now. But we are not going to talk about sad things. We are going to talk about happy things. Things that make us happy and things that just makes us enjoy our daily life. Right. Right. And I promise I'm going to be very nice today. I'm not going to pull any zippers. Well, I'm going to pull zippers, but I'm not going to do it like I did last time. I promise I'm going to behave. <laughs> um, I'm rambling as usual because it has been a while since I talked to you guys. Um, I just realized I forgot to pull the winner of this bag. So I will have to uh, pause and edit and all the things. Ah, well, um, I usually start by saying thank you to you who uh, sent me a cup of coffee. Um, I didn't find any information of how to contact you and personally, personally say thank you. So whoever you are, thank you very much. All the coffees are so much appreciated. Everything goes right back into the channel. And especially now when I'm sending out some giveaways, it helps with shipping. Thank you for watching, for watching the ads. If you do that, thank you for having a membership on YouTube. Everything helps the creators on this channel. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all your messages and sharing with me. It is so much appreciated. So let's talk about the giveaway. Last time, Kylie, Kylie at the sewing, sewing shop incorporated or the sewing shop Inc over in Canada is making these beautiful, beautiful product bags. And she was so sweet and kind to ask me to give away one of her bags for you guys. And I said, absolutely. I don't mind at all. And she was so sweet and she made me some a project bag, a huge one, which is perfect for my huge super sized. And she also made a organizer for me. So we have a nice little, uh, what you call that charm on the zipper. You have a tag where you can write down which project you're working on and you have her contact information. 
and you can follow Kylie over at Instagram and go check her store out. I will put the text in here for on the name and you can find the link down below in the description box. So don't hesitate. She makes great things and she's also selling DMC threads, which is perfect. You can get the threads and the project bag at the same time for your new project. And I think she will uh, get some more things on her site, I'm pretty sure. And it's a vinyl front, which is perfect. And yeah, the inside fabric, it's, it's so beautiful. It, ha it has an Asian style to it. And I know who the winner is. It is Irene. I'm putting the picture up here so you can see what she wrote. And I'm so happy that Irene is the winner because she has been following uh, my channel for a long time. Um, I asked for the word bird and Irene Irene's favorite bird is the raven, and those are so cool. We love ravens. So congratulations on this amazing project bag. You won't be disappointed, I promise. And I'm not very fast at shipping things. Ask Daniela, who's still waiting for her kit, which she won the last time. So, but, but I will send it, I, I promise. Um, please send me an email. You can find the information down below or contact me on Instagram. We have talked there before. So just message me your name and address so I can ship this out for you. What a great Christmas present, huh? <laughs> so, so that's that. And there's one last thing I'm going to show you before we head into the plans or 2022. I'm so excited. My stitching bug has seriously, you know, went away. Um, I think I made like 600, 500 <laughs> stitches on my new project. I haven't started anything else. Oh, look at this back. It looks, it looks, <laughs> horrible horrible i i started the super sized max color museum shelf last time i had my floss tube ah yes i have stitched 500 stitches it's so sad it's so sad and this is my progress so far i really enjoy it. i love the blue colors here and so this is like in the very center of the museum shelf. Uh, I will put up a picture here on the museum shelf. And I know there's like a big bluish round thing and there's a statue and some flowers and you see all the three items here. And I'm stitching it like I'm stitching the beauty will save the world. I started in the middle, I park, I stitch a 10 by 10 grid at a time, and I work in a spiral. For now, I'm doing like that. I enjoy that. I think parking is like really my favorite method. So that's all I've been doing. And oh yeah, I did work on my, um, owl forest embroidery at work a couple of mornings but that was so little you don't want to see that but that's that's that i'm already exhausted and i haven't started yet okay so plans i have like a full coverage uh, plan and a whip go plan. And I've talked about showing you like a kit parade. So this will be kind of a, my, my kit parade because most of the kits I have will be in the whip go. 
So I will show you the full coverage plans and how I'm going to tackle that. And then I'm going to show you the WIPCO and all the kits. And I will end up um, showing you like the last things I have collected for the past two years with some patterns, paper patterns, and maybe there are some kind of kit kits there. I, if you want, I'm not going to show you all my full coverage pieces because I did that in July. So if you're curious on my like whip parade, head over to that channel. You can't, you won't miss it. It says big on the thumbnail whip, whip parade. And I released it in July this year. So I have bought one of these books I showed you. And here I've started writing down my plans and my projects and the WIPCO board and the projects that will be included in the WIPCO. And then I've put in some stickers. I still haven't heard from the, uh, what do you call it? Stitch of days? No, no, I don't even remember the, the calendar name. So we'll see what happened with that anyway. So for my full coverage with Parade, I am doing the Nikki rotation. I'm calling it the Nikki rotation because it's inspired by how she is rotating through her projects. And uh, I have, you know, made my rotation and the way I have uh, on, you know, how I've uh, understood how um, it might be wrong. I've been watched and rewatched her uh, episode about her rotation. And I think this is how she's doing it in, in a way, you know, she doesn't have, I don't think she has as many projects as I have, but before she had like, I think she had six projects and then she had four or is it maybe she had eight and then she had, I don't, I don't remember now, but I have a little bit more projects, but I'm going to use do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not understanding what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm having a rotation over two months, eight weeks. And that will include six projects. So one month I'm having a fun stitch. And the other month I'm having a get done stitch. So those are like the main focuses. Okay. And then the first month where I have the fun stitch for two weeks, then the other week I have a gecko rouge week, and then I have an unconventional cross stitch week. All right. And then for the second month where I have the, the get done stitch for two weeks, the other week I have an heaven and earth week, and then I have a pain free crafts week. So that is like, my main rotation, it is my full coverage pieces. That is what I want to stitch. And how I'm going to tackle that, it's a little bit, you know, I'm like one day I think like this, the other day I think like that, all right? So how, how am I going to do this? My fun stitch, first of all, is once upon a fairy tale. And there, you know, I don't have any goal more than I'm going to stitch on it for two weeks, every second month for the whole year. And what I get done, I get done. I have a small, annoying fly flying around here. Ugh. And that is just, as long as I don't get tired of it, which I don't think I will, I will just stick to that. So that's my fun stitch. And now I intend to show you if my bags won't just fall over the, the floor. Please don't. I will show you my progress so far. You have seen it before. I haven't stitched on it since the last time I showed you. But, you know, I have completed four pages. So it's like 4% done. It looks just amazing. Amazing. And my plan is to continue 
the four next pages here. Okay, so fun stitch. I love my Once Upon a Fairy Tale and I am looking forward to getting back to it. <clears throat> so on the 1st of January, I'm starting this. So week two, no, week, the, week three of uh, January is Gekka Rouge week. And I love Gekka Rouge. I have two projects. I have the shelf life and I have the gamer. And first out is shelf life. It's a huge project. It's amazing. And I love bookshelves. Uh, so the main thing will be that. And I haven't stitched very much on it. This is my progress on that so far. So I cannot wait to get back to it. It's a lot of fun. There are so many different rooms in there. Um, and <clears throat> my goal is I consulted with Nikki. How should I tackle this? I want progress. Tw 2022 has to be about progress, not just starting all the things. I want progress. And I didn't know if I should go for like if I should go for a thousand stitches and then when I've made a thousand stitches I could go to the gamer and do a thousand stitches and then go to the shelf life and do a thousand stitches and uh, she gave me the idea to join the full coverage fanatic um, challenge uh, which is stitching the wonders of, of the world which is 5,000 stitch, stitches for each wonder and you can do like 5,000 stitches on one project or you know yeah you'd ha it has to be one project but the next 5,000 you can choose another project or you can just stick with the same so I'm thinking 5,000 stitches is the goal and then I will switch to the game mode. And I have another Gekka Rouge coming in a few months. So that would be a third one in the rotation. I don't think I will get that much done though. But this is my start on the gamer. I started like in the top center. Very enjoyable. And then <clears throat> the last week of the first month is the unconventional cross stitch week. And there I have two projects, which is the Beauty Will Save the World and Alice in Wonderland. And I will first focus on Beauty Will Save the World because she is so beautiful and I love the way I'm stitching her. And she's the first one I started, so. Um, I'm going to show you my progress on her. And this is an Australian small company who has amazing patterns and art. So I highly, highly recommend. This is the beginning. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. That's her upper lip and her you know, nose. It's the center. And again, I'm stitching just um, a grid by 10 by 10 at a time. And I'm working in this spiral around. It's just amazing. And 
it's the same thing there. Uh, 5,000 stitches is the goal. And once I have reached that, and if, if I want to switch, because I wasn't so pleased with this start, Alice in Wonderland, I will head over to that one. So this is the top left corner. This is just black stitches. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know how I'm going to stitch, if I'm going to continue with the background or if I'm going to try to travel stitch down to her face. So that's the first month. Fun stitch, gecko rouge, and then unconventional cross stitch. Now, for the second month, I have a get done stitch, I have a heaven and earth design week, and a pain free cross week. So, my get done stitch last year I focused on softest steel, and I had joined the 21,000 stitches in 21. This time I'm, I'm joining also the full coverage fanatics, 22,000 stitches in 22, but not with soft as steel. I'm jo joining with my mini dragon in the morning, a Randall Spangler who I love to death. And you know, I have found the dragons. This is like <sighs> dragon time, you know, I love it. And I love working with these colors creating this golden frames. So, but I'm 10 stitching this. And that means I need to do 44,000 stitches. And that means I should be getting quite close to a finish. So that's the goal. A finish, 22,000, no, 44,000 10 stitches. And I'm working this one for two weeks every second month for the whole of 2022. Wish me luck. <laughs> it would be nice to have a finish next year, but maybe it's just high hopes. I don't know. I'm sorry about that. It was my husband. He needed to get something for doing the laundry. Uh, yes. So that's the, for the first two weeks of the second month. Then the next week is heaven and earth. Heaven and Earth Designs, yes, it's only, well, it's actually, Heaven and Earth Designs is actually getting five of the eight weeks. But I am going to start with another favorite, which is my Animal Kingdom, which I'm stitching together with Cat, but she's just killing this beast, and I'm not. <laughs> you all know how it looks like. And again, I can't wait to get back to this. I think I'm actually going to, because it's also already in a frame. <clears throat> and by the way, Kat made this bag for me. She's so sweet. Let's see. You know, this is already, you know, it's ready to go. So I'm, think, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave this out for Christmas and New Year and maybe get even if it's just a hundred stitches, I will continue this. This is my progress. It's very sad, but head over to Kat's channel and you will die. She, she's making so much progress. and It looks so amazing. Anyway, it's the super size max colors as always. So that one, I will work 5,000 stitches is my thought. I will get back to this, but the, the plan is 5,000 stitches every third week of the second month. I will work on this. And when I do hit 5,000 stitches, you all know I have a lot of heaven and earths. And I'm considering if I should just cycle through bookshelves because I've, I have a lot of them. You love them. I love them. They're so much fun. But at the same time, I have like 20 others I love so much too. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do. I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, bookshelves will, you know, stand me up to here. And I don't want to stitch any bookshelves anymore. But, or I will not switch 
anything next year and just stick to the amazing animal kingdom for the rest of the year that could also be like something i would like to do um i have just realized i have to sacrifice some of my projects for you know having ease at mind okay positive thoughts the last week is pain-free crafts and i have one project so far by them and i love it yes you think you're gonna say what you love it you haven't made anything well i have made a little bit and i'm just in love with this little hand it's not what you when you keep it from on a distance you can see his hand his claws holding on to that glass so much fun i started in the middle and i just started to go wherever the thread took me but then i went back to focusing a little bit more on a square at a time and uh yeah it's a very small project they have great kits they have great art especially uh stan morrison and chris dunn and very affordable kits they ship out fast you cannot go wrong with the pain-free crafts and she makes a great a wonderful job on charting the, this art it's not i mean she's hand um how how do you say it it's not just a machine that brings out the pattern then you're good to go she you know manually changes colors pixel by pixel to get it to look as great as possible now that is great craftsmanship um, and as some of you know pain-free crafts is having a huge yearly stitch along which is starting now on the 1st of january oh and i haven't bought the kit yet and i want to join i want to join so my plan was to stitch I didn't even show you. Oh, this is the Kraken. <laughs> the Kraken dragon, storm dragon. Yeah, he's so cool. So cool. Now, my plan was to switch between the Kraken dragon and the stitch along. Now I think my, my light is weird right here. Um, so, but I haven't got the kit yet and I really need to get it. Oh, yeah. We'll see how far I get, but that, that's the plan. 5,000 on the Craig and then we head over to the stitch along <laughs> or something. Okay. If you have any questions about my rotation, this is the complete full coverage rotation. And it's like the main focus of the year. If I don't feel like stitching or anything, everything else will be set aside. This is what I want to stitch. I love my full coverage pieces. And that's that. My plan was on Fridays to switch between my Mirabilia and my Chatelaine. They're not included this year. I just need a break. So, if you have any questions about the, the rotation, if I, ha if I was, you know, on clear in any way please just leave a, a you know leave a comment with a, a question i will and i will get back to you i promise and if you don't want to leave a comment you know you can email me or you can send me a direct me message on instagram i'm uh, linda 144 hobbies over there as well i changed my name so you can find me so don't hesitate to ask and if you wonder about where I have gotten any of the things, just ask and I will give you the answer as, you know, as good as I can, of course. So <clears throat> and that's that. Um, yeah. And what have I been doing if I haven't been stitching? Well, I have been knitting a lot and I have actually started my first Stephen West's shawl and I chose a new beginner one because I wanted to get into it and I'm, I'm happy I did I'm happy I did because I make mistakes silly mistakes you know stupid mistakes but 
anyway and anyway I, i'm enjoying it so much it gives me a little bit more time for something else and i'm a bit more present at home which i need to be there is a <laughs> yeah i have a friend the fly you know um go away now so I made this plan before I started knitting when I was like all about a stitching. So I was thinking full coverage pieces and then I will do whip go. And I also have in mind, had in mind, you know, uh, Pam over at uh, Just Keep Stitching. Pam's advice for whip go, if you haven't tried it before, is um, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> Um, variety she said variety so you don't get bored and I started whip go this year and I didn't have that much variety and you know in the beginning all the the numbers that were pulled were a sampler the same sampler so I got bored so I stopped I stopped whip go so I'm t I'm tackling whip go a a much 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 more different I have one project for each number no repeat so some might just get a little bit some might get a little bit more so this is my handmade whip go board and these are all my kits so these are kits some of them might you know not have a thread or two uh, because we live in the world we live and um, I'm going to go through the 25 kits with you now. So let's dive in. Um, we can start with these. My owl embroidery, uh, my owl forest embroidery, the enchanted forest. And I do have a little bit of progress on that. And then I can show you also what I did since the last time so this is my project oh this is the back side sorry my, yeah mm. progress so far yeah so i finished the beaver and i started this thing here not so much but you know a couple of threads every morning i only do it a couple of times when I'm very early at work before I log in I do that so that is one project and I think my goal here oh yeah I forgot to say the goal on WIPGO is um, 25 7 so 25 minutes seven days a week that that is like the goal and we'll see 25 minutes is just a short time but I think on these small projects you know I will get a little bit of progress and I will get to touch all the things because that was my thought stitch all the things so this is going to be great um, I can put it up there and then we have this great project bag which is from is it from dot dot goose I don't remember this is my pandemic long dog sampler yes I'm going to stitch a little bit more on that this is my progress so far and I'm using the um, what do you call them the the, the the sulky threads and some DMC threads And then we have another favorite here. It is my 101 alphabets by Rosewood Manor. 
It is so much fun. I remember when I stitched on it, I didn't want to stop. This is my progress so far and it looks just amazing and I just love it. It's this is 20 no 36 linen I'm stitching with two threads, DMC threads. I'm really really loving this. So I'm really looking forward to getting back to this. So 25 minutes, 10 to 15 days. It will, I will get a few alphabets done, I think. And I have two more project bags here, which is we have my goat load from the stack series by Plum Street Samplers, which I'm collecting. And there's a new one out soon. It's available soon with the polar bears. And oh, it's so cute and it's almost finished. So this one is going to be finished for sure. Love it. So nice, so much fun. And if I will get this done, well, I don't know, what should I do? Should I just start a new stack series maybe? I don't know, I haven't considered that. If I get finished with one of the smalls, maybe I will just give the other projects more time or I will just give my, give my full coverage more time, I don't know. I don't know. What else do we have here? Ah, oh, one of my samplers is the Jane Hearth 1868. I worked on it this October. I think it was October. No, September. So I will continue on the flowers there. A very sweet little sampler. But I think, you know, samplers are so beautiful. I just don't think they're really my cup of tea, but I want to stitch, you know, I want to have some of them going because they are so beautiful and I love the historical aspect of it as well. And we have, by the way, Jane Hearth is a um, Hands Across the Sea sampler. I usually buy samplers from them because I like their sam samplers. Here we have A Dog's Last Will and Testament by Heart Spring Samplery. And I've gotten quite far on it, actually. And this is an XU design uh, paper. No paper, <laughs> fabric. So I will get some progress done on this one as well. Really nice, really nice. And the text on the dog's will is just heartbreaking. It's so sweet. So those were in the project bags. Then I have like a box full of things. So I will just grab the first one and go to the end. So first we have, we have my Outlander bookmark. This is how it looks like. And I'm aiming for a finish, of course. This is how far I've gotten. This is so sad. I don't have more Outlanders. What do you think? When I have received my next Gecko Rouge, 
I'm debating on which full coverage piece. I use the layaway system, so I get one like every six months. And I don't know if I should get the cats, you know, from the uh, Meowtlander, is it called? It's so, they're so cute. Or should I get another, you know, uh, Medusa doll maker? She has the falcon, which I love, and the mermaid, which is so beautiful. And the one uh, from um, Sleeping Beauty, the Queen, give me her heart. It's so cool. Anyway, so that's one project. So you have, you know, everything from very small to quite big. It's great. It's great. <clears throat> oh, oh, I'm looking forward to starting this. This, by the way, project bag is made by St Becca Stitchy Becca. Becca from Sweden. She's so sweet and she gave me this amazing needle minder. And I wonder if I should actually have this needle minder on a cross stitch because I'm afraid that I will, you know, look more on the needle minder than on the cross stitch. You know what I mean? Anyway, <clears throat> in this beautiful project bag that she made for me, she's just so sweet, is the limited edition what remains what remains is love and the story behind this is just amazing and i was like it's another sampler i know it's a blackbird's design but i was thinking i need to make this for my daughter if she wants it or not i don't care i will force her to have this in her home when i'm dead or i will come back and haunt her yes no, I'm just kidding. But it's all kitted up and ready to be stitched. So I'm really looking forward to that. I hope this one comes out not too late in the year. <laughs> and then we have, I love the Maya um, landscape kits. I cannot find this anywhere. It's called Winter Sunset. It's just, uh, oh, it's so beautiful. So this is one I'm starting. I haven't started it, so there's nothing to see. And then I'm starting Santa's Nap by Dimensions. It's the gold collection. It's so cute. I'm sorry about the ring light, but they're so cute. Look at those. Oh, so. It's going to be fun to start this. And oh, and then we have my favorite ship, Titanic. It's an old kit I have. This is uh, from Heritage Stitchcraft. And yeah, it's a kit. Um, never started it, but it's searched and everything is, is ready to go. So I'm looking forward to starting that as, as well. Yes, I'm one of those Titanic nerds. If I would have more money, I would collect things. So, what I have is a small piece of coal from the bottom of the ocean before they stopped all the picking up. And I, I have one, um, what do you call that? screen shot from the movie Titanic. I have bought one piece of that movie. <clears throat> Here's another Maya. It is called the Forgotten, no, Blue Remembered Hills. And this reminds me so much of south, south of Sweden where my grandmother lived. I have so many memories from there and it's just so beautiful. I love landscapes, photos, pictures, stitching. I haven't stitched actually anything landscape, um, but when painting with water, watercolors, I like the landscapes too. <clears throat> and then we have another dimensions I'm gonna start. Messy the Mag Maker, Mess Maker, Mess Maker. I have, yeah, I have one over here. This one is going to be so much fun. I remember they were quite difficult to stitch actually. But 
I'm looking forward to this as well. And yeah, the kit is, I've opened it. So there's threads and everything. Um, yeah. What's next? We have some sailboats. And this is Permen of Copenhagen. Uh, a small, small kit, ready. I don't think it's ready to go. No, I haven't, you know, sorted the threads or anything. So I think at least today we'll go <laughs> with sorting the threads, you know, but yeah, I like boats. I, uh, I think I've showed you a picture that I build model boats. I have, it's not like I have thousands of them. I finished some, uh, I'm building some sometimes when I feel like it. <clears throat> However, I don't like water and I don't like being on the boats. I just like looking at them. We have another Maya. <laughs> there is one Maya selling on Etsy and on eBay. It's a winter scene with some houses and there's some a bridge over some uh, little a stream and there's some Christmas tree. It's so beautiful. It's, it's in a pinkish brown white colorway. And it's not so expensive, but oh, I've been eyeing that for so long. Uh, but I have, you know, I have three Mayas landscapes, so I, sh you know, I don't need it. I want it, I need and want. You need to separate those two things. Anyway, this is how it's going to look. It looks amazing. You know, reminds me of the woods, which I love to be in. And yeah, whoops, it's the same thing. I can actually show you, you know, I haven't sorted anything. Oh, look at this. I mean, hello. Hi, Candy. It's full kit with everything in there. It's anchor threads. Oh my God. And here we have Little Friends. It's a very old kit from Copenhagen, Permanent of Copenhagen. It looks like this. And this is a kit my older sister gave me many, many years back when I was stitching like crazy. So I have started it. And I was thinking you know, it would be nice if I could actually get more progress or even finish it. This is nothing I would stitch today or anything, but you know, she gave me this. Is this how far I got? And when I got this, these were huge. <laughs> it's not huge. It's a small one, but I was thinking to get a little bit more done on these. I think this is a uh, hard hanger. Maybe it looks like it. Hmm. Let's do like this. almost through. Then we have my Teresa Wensler kit. Mm -hmm. I bought the whole kit. It's sealed and everything. I haven't opened it yet. I am so scared. Look at all those color combinations. Oh my god. Yeah. It's the storyteller. Can I do like this? I like it. I like it a lot. I like the frame a lot. So it's going to be 
fun to start this and you know get the feeling of what everyone is talking about with all the blendings so yeah and then we have two small ones we have three little kittens by ink circles I haven't started it i've fully kitted it and i chose this linen it's very stiff and boring but i was thinking it would work fine i hope so i'm gonna try anyway and then we have one of the little cheap virtues number nine friendship like this mm -hmm. and i have the complete kit with you know for making this pillow and everything and it's, uh, I think this is a raw linen, I don't know, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try. I'm collecting the sheets as well, slowly. So those two, what else do we have? We have the Christmas mousse by Panna. So cute. He's so cute. Look at that face. I love moose. Mooses. Mees? Moose? Mooses? How do you call it in plural? I love these. We have this where we live. And they're just uh, majestic when you see them. Uh, I had a very close encounter with two of them. When I was running a lot and working out a lot, I used to run to work and I remember it was like not a winter but it was close to winter time it was dark and I had run all the way to work and we have like a 10k it's a 10k run and the last uh, kilometer is like uphill so <clears throat> I remember coming you know I had gone all the way up I was like <sighs> really tired I had I remember I had the park, big parking to my left. And usually I, I look down when I run and bike. I don't know why it's stupid, but, and I remember looking up and I see these two <laughs> animals coming towards me, not running, but they were like, Hey, 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 what the f are you running? You know? And I thought my last day had come. I was, I started running backwards out to the parking lot and I was thinking if they're coming after me, I will roll under a car like a real action movie. <laughs> and it came after me a little bit, but it was like it saw that I was backing up. So they left off. But afterwards, I was like, whoa, I had a moose encounter. I was like this close. <laughs> so I will never forget that. But I love these animals. They're amazing. Beautiful, beautiful animals. Okay, should we go on? Yes. And here we have another ink circle. It is, let's hope, I was stitching on this when my daughter was dancing and she's not doing that anymore. She don't feel she has the time because of school. So she has quit everything, but I'm trying, I'm trying to get the picture up here. So this is how squirrels of Sumatra looks like. It's amazing. And I'm using the Gloriana silks. This was the first Gloriana threads I tried and I was totally in love. And I was so used to stitching full coverage pieces like one over one on 25 or 28 counts. I didn't understand that when it said 28 count. So I started stitching it one over one, but it's supposed to be two over two. But it looks amazing. Let's see which is front and which is back is just, I mean, come on, I'm dying. And I realized I had bought two less not enough threads i think 
so I have bought some extra threads and you know they're not the sa same dye lot so we'll see how much difference it will make but it's amazing it changes colors without you having to change colors and I don't remember where I got the fabric from but let me show you the Gloriana's because it's so amazing uh-huh okay beautiful it is acorns of course can I uh -huh. mm -hmm. And let's see how many more I have. I have another ink circle. Obviously, I like ink circles, but I do. It's a dog's declaration. Yeah, I don't have to pull it out, but you know, it's Valdani threads. I've never tried them. I have some picture this plus. It's going to be so amazing. Yep. Looking forward to that. And then I have the Always Remember. I showed you this the last time. Maybe not the last time, but it's not so long ago. But here I'm going to try out uh, Fox and Rabbit's fabric. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I think it is, there's some one or two threads. I think is one thread missing still in this kit, uh, but it's coming from uh, traditional stitches. I have faith in them. They have never had any troubles with them. So as soon as it's in, it is in stock and last but not least, the Moonlight Sampler. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I need to take this out and I'm not stitching it on this kind of fabric. I chose a bluish blue gray fabric. So this is sampler oh and all the animals and the saying though my soul may set in darkness it will rise in perfect light i have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night it's so beautiful it's so sweet i mean who doesn't love that <clears throat> and the fabric i chose was this amazing it's like I want to start it now so this is it's so good to start looking at all your things because when you know when the bug is gone you're like starting getting it back so uh, that was all the Whipco projects guys I think I'm gonna have a fun year with a lot of variety and then I have my knitting as well so I have lots of things a lot of colors and everything in my life and then oh I, I can't wait for 2022 and <clears throat> also I was thinking let me put this little to the side I was thinking that I came up with this rotation like in October November maybe November and you know I've just been I just started to wait for this to start you know all this great rotation I get new starts you know without buying anything new I have small projects I have my full coverage 
everything you know I'm gonna really get to stitch all the things and I think I should have started the full coverage rotation right away uh, because it felt like my interest went a different way I don't regret starting to knit don't get me wrong <laughs> I'm very happy because it's just uh, I feel a lot more productive uh, when I not stitch when I knit stitch and knit yeah so now I'm gonna finish off I know this is a very long show but you know me I'm gonna finish off showing you what I have you know my leftover so it's not gonna be my Mirabilia collection I have that over there it's not gonna be the Nora Corbett they're also in there and I haven't bought any Mirabilia's I haven't bought anything I don't have any haul to show you but so it's not that it's not my full coverage pieces it's just my leftovers for small projects and I have that in here so <clears throat> if you don't want to you know if you're not interested you can just say goodbye <laughs> I don't know but I think you want to see this I have some more threads here for the stack uh, series I have some more I wanted to start with and I have my Bella Filipina she was actually in my Woodco rotation but I realized I hadn't written up my long dong sampler so I was like mm, I'll wait for this but she's a complete kit from Hawkins Hobbies um, I don't know where I should put everything and yeah this is like almost a finished Bella Filipina kit the same mermaid and then I decided to just buy the whole kit from hockey so I'm so stupid but this is uh I have I'm missing one more Monet's pond I think it's two skeins of threads then I have the complete kit of the Russian window a chatelaine a small chatelaine <clears throat> And then we have a mini mini kit I got when I bought the Santa's nap dimensions from Russia and they had added this little sweet kit and these are just leftover threads and then I have some lavender and lace just patterns um, the two ones I like the most is the, what is she called? She is called In the Arms of an Angel. And when I stitch her, if I ever get to do it, I'm changing the hair color to my color. And then we have Angel of Love, which is amazing. I mean, her dress, it's pearls. It's more or less just pearls. Can you imagine? And then I have the beads for in the arms of an angel. I wish, really, I wish I could stitch all the things, but. <clears throat> then we have Mayari, Deity of the Moon, the Bella Filipina, and his off. Yes, I finished that this year. Love it. Love, love, love. A gift from one of my viewers, and this was also included in that gift. These cats are so cool. I love them. I especially like this one, but they are so cool. Five cats and a canary canary yeah the canary is the bird up there so this would be so fun to stitch as well for my sister who loves cats and then i have the flamingo you had me at flamingo um and yeah 
I have one more flamingo here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm silly. I know. You can be silly. That was just a card. And then we have some Plum Street Mermaid Fracture because it's mermaids. And then we have the Rosa Sugars from Hands Across the Sea, uh, from Hands Across the Sea, four years old. And that is why I had to have the sampler because I know samplers are challenging. Amazing. And then we have <clears throat> Lesson Four by Plum Streets, and it says, "Be you to others, kind and true." as you would have others be to you. So I like that one. And then we have the llama stack, llama, llama lump, because it's llama. I need to do this for my friend. And then we have the raccoon rabble. I need to do this for my sister who loves raccoons. Well, it's not like she loves the animal raccoon, but we love the, you know, the movies. And then I have some of the you know the cheap virtues with charms. This is number four, which is courage. I have kindness. I don't remember which number that is. And number eleven, which is gratitude. So I have those three. thought I had one more of those, but I might be wrong. So we have Annie Morris. It's, uh, it only had five colors and I wanted to, I ordered from the Dutch, um, store because I wanted to try this small sampler on a 56 count fabric. Uh, but I, uh, there's one color missing. So I guess I will have to wait a while for those. Here we have another Bella Filipina Hanan, deity of mourning. And Bella Filipina Maria Macilling, Macling, I don't know, but she's she's beautiful. And oh, a favorite maiden of Tubata. Oh, gorgeous. And let's get re ready for some Plum Street samplers. I have many of them. Flirting. Rest a while. Oh, it's a favorite one. I love it. I love the bird sitting there on his tail. And then we have Falling. It's a series called The F Word. So I wonder which other words we get flirting and falling so far. We have sw sweater weather. And we have the sheep heap. The stack series are just so cool. We'll try to angle them so you won't get too much glare. And we have the tired trio. <laughs> The sloths, yeah, they're so cute. And the rack stack, the reindeer. And then we have the Rue Crew. And the abdominal bundle. And then we have Bigfoot, the Bigfoot bunch. And I wonder, I can see two. Yeah, I see three. They're hiding behind the, the leaves. And then we have heck pick. No, hen pack. Hen, hen pick. And gobble gob. It's <laughs> cute. <laughs> uh, 
And then we have the snort stack. Oh my god. I love the colors in this. <laughs> the snort stack. And the cow pile. That's a funny name. And last we have the hedgerow, which is the second, well, it's the latest, second latest release. And then I have the Halloween magazine for this year. A lot of great, a lot of great stitches here. Not that I have stitched any, but yeah. And then we have Blackbird's design. It's the Halloween Eve. Love it. So cool. And a uh, feast of friendship. Love that house. So beautiful. And then I couldn't resist any more inspiration by Rosewood Manor. You know, Rosewood Manor has great booklets. I really like their uh, patterns. But this is a piece of art. And then I have I, His Eye on the Sparrow by Heartspring Samplery. I want the other one as well. I don't remember the name. But wow, imagine stitching this. It's cool. And then I felt for this. Uh, this spectacular Halloween garden labyrinth. It's cool. I think this would look really cool stitched up. And it's Carolyn Manning Designs. And then I have the Halloween quilt sampler also by Rosewood Manor. And I have the charm there as well. Really nice. Really, really nice. And I also have the Halloween Quaker. Anne Roberts, Hands Across the Sea Sampler. Beautiful colors in this. And we have a uh, hello from Liz Matthews, her Halloween Eve. Very nice. Oh, here's another Plum Street, the Fox View, of course. And another Mid uh, Blackbird's Design, the Midnight Watch. So cool. I love how the cat, you know, the cat looks like it's smoke, you know, like a ghost. Another Plum Street, ugly sweater weather. I love this. It's so cute. And from nature to my needle. Yes, yes, yes. And then we have the Ann Morrison, which I finished this year. Amazing sampler, beautiful colors. And here is my absolute favorite sampler. I've started very, very lightly kitting it up. And it is Sarah Brasher. When I saw this sampler, I died. So this is what got me into samplers. It's a huge one. And I have a little bit of threads, but you know, it's expensive. And since I'm not buying anything at the moment, this is going to take some time to, to kit up. And here we have a long dong sampler, which is life after death. Life after death. Really cool. I think I would stitch this with black. Or some kind of uh, variegated black thread, I think. And this is a printout from one of my uh, PDFs which is like a cherry blossom. It's also kind of a PDF, no, uh, sampler, of course. And then I have the Witches of Salem. Oh, I need to tell you a story. 
a sad story. I am looking for uh, the primitive needle Salem remembered. Uh, this is that's like my unicorn and I know I can buy it for $300 on eBay and I'm like no I cannot do that like 150 would be like that's a lot and somebody told me get you know get this one it's the names and I was like okay so I got it just you know to get something about that the Salem which is the Salem trials and um, I joined a group a while ago and there was a lady there who was so sweet and asked if I wanted it. And I was like, well, are you selling it? And she said, yes. And I was like, okay, how much do you want? And it was like, <laughs> the shipping was more than what she was selling the pattern for. And I'm so heartbroken. She sent it, you know, I bought it, she sent it. It was like, it was, she, she could, it, it was so little money. So it wouldn't, you know, be even that she fooled me in any way. No, she sent it and I followed the tracking. It came to Europe so fast. And why, I don't know why, but they sent this letter to Poland and it's gone. And I contacted my mail office and I was like, where is it? And they're like, well, we can't do anything because it hasn't arrived here. So I contacted the lady who sold the pattern to me and she said she was going to look into it, but I haven't heard anything. You know, I'm so heartbroken. I think anything else would be fine to be lost in mail, but this pattern. So I'm like, I'm not supposed to have that pattern. Anyway, sad story, but there is no happy ending here. <laughs> so this is Jane Fitz. I have the kit actually for this. Um, and that's the story about that. Uh, I think I only have hands across the sea samplers left here to show. I have a Mary Carter. Oh, the colors in this is just amazing. Beautiful sampler. Huge one, I think. And then we have the sisters and Tong on Fidel, of course. Mm -mm -mm, eye candy. And the other one. And... And Gardner, I think this is so sweet. I actually got it to start out with satin stitches to try something easy out. Um, so I'm, when Jane Hearth is done, I think I would like to start this actually. And last we have Lucy Nevier. This is like royal, you know, and that tree is all French knots. And I'm like, oh, who's not up for a challenge? So I had to get it. And this one I found in Australia. I was like looking, 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 and I found it there. <laughs> it was out of print. So I'm very happy to have one. So that's all. Oh, that's my kit parade. That's my paper pattern parade. My plans for 2022. And me wishing all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you in 2022. Thank you everyone for all your thumbs up, for all your views, for all the coffees. Special thank you to you for watching my videos, for commenting and sharing, again, sharing your stories. I love it. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't for all of you. Thank you. Have a wonderful last two weeks of this year. I wish you all the best. And I will see you soon. Love you. Bye.